You're up early. It's only six o'clock. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, me neither. I'm not surprised on that thing. Oh, it's very comfortable. I'm just a light sleeper. You should have come through. I, I nearly did. I, I didn't want to disturb you. I'd rather we talk, Roy, than both lie awake wondering what the other's thinking. Uh, what, what were you thinking? I was worrying that I can never make you truly happy. I'm wondering whether we've done the right thing moving in together. Well, I'm sure we have. So, where do we go from here, Roy? Bella! Oh, um, excuse me. Can I have a quick word? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, um, my husband and I have separated. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, these things happen. It's just, if the girls seem a little unsettled... We'll keep a close eye on them, don't worry. And thanks for keeping us in the picture. But it's not just them I'm worrying about. You see, they're living with me at the moment. Only the father's not too happy about the situation. See, what I'm trying to say is, if he comes to the school, you mustn't let him take them. You must phone me and I'll come straight over and I'll pick them up. I'll give you my work number. Has there been a court order issued to prevent your husband from seeing them? Well, no, there hasn't, but I'm hoping it's not going to get that far. In that case, I'm sorry, but the school can't get involved. But you don't understand. You don't know how unreasonable he's being. I'm really sorry to hear you're having problems, Mrs Webster. But if a child's father wants to take them away from school, legally, there's nothing we can do about it. I'm sorry. There's something I can do about it. Oh, I've only thick-cut marmalade. People generally prefer thin or medium, oh, don't they? Thick's fine, thanks. Are you sure? Because I can bring another one up from downstairs. I'd marry you like a shot if I could. You know that, Roy. It just seems so unfair. And when we are two consenting adults who love each other, I just want to make a public declaration of that love. How can that be illegal? In the eyes of the law, Roy, I'm still a male. Not in my eyes. Yeah, well, unfortunately, until the law changes. We could take our case to the European Court of Human Rights. And get ourselves splashed all over paper while we're at it. No, thank you very much. Yeah, when you, when you put it like that. Don't get me wrong, Roy. I fully respect you wanting us to be married before taking things a stage further. But the simple fact is, we can't ever be married. At, at the moment? Probably never. So, what I want to know is, does that mean we can't ever be lovers? I think I will get that marmalade up. Day, just till I get myself sorted. No way, Sally, you make your own childcare arrangements, you know that. I've got nowhere else to leave them. Well, why aren't they at school? If I left them on their own, Kevin would try and take them, I know he would. What? Things have got really ugly between us. Kevin wouldn't let me see him, so I've had to take matters into my own hands. I don't want to hear any more about this. It's up to you and Kevin to sort it out. Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to explain. I can't have kids wandering around a factory. Anything could happen to them. They'll be as good as gold. Oh, all right. Well, look, I tell you what. If you're in a fix, take a couple of days holiday. Sort yourself out. Fine. Hey, some of these apartments the lovely Jack. Oh, well, they are in the brochure. You get there, half of them were not built. You've got lots of sunlight. I said this firm won a prize last year. Well, she would do, you know. She's on commission. Oh, stay here if you want. I want you to meet me in the town centre at dinner time. What for? To go shopping for holiday clothes. Oh, look, Vera, why can't you go on your own? You know I hate traipsing around Fleming's shops. I can't because we've both got to go to get the money out. All right. Look, can't we make it another day? We've got a, 
I've got to help Alec with the stock take. Well, you're still entitled to a dinner break. So meet me at one o'clock outside the building society. Can we make it two? Well, I've got a bit of business on. Two o'clock, then. But don't be late. Come on, Sophie. Come on, Rosie. Quickly, now. Sarah! Sarah! Kill, Sal. Not until you calm down. How do you expect me to be calm after what you've done? You drove me to this, don't you think? If you hadn't let me see him. Why are you not in school? Because I've taken them out. Because I want them to settle in. <sighs> you think I'm going to snatch them at the school gates or something? I wouldn't put it past you. Don't worry. I wouldn't stoop to your level. You've no right doing this, Sal. I'm their mother. I've every right that they live with me. It's not fair you're putting them in this proxy flat. This will be home where they belong. I'll be the judge of where they belong. Don't you think they've been through enough, so? I bet they haven't even got their own bedroom, have they? They don't have to put up with it for long. Why, what are you going to do? Have a great... Don't tempt me! I'm warning yourself. I want to see them kids. I'll let you see them when you can talk in a proper, civilised way. I'm warning you. I don't have to stay around here, Kevin. I've got money. I could move away. Somewhere far away. So don't do this to me. Full all today, is it? Same tomorrow and the day after. Oh, place does a reasonable trade. I'm not disputing that. Yeah, well, why won't you buy it for me? Because it is not worth what they're asking for it. Says who? You won't even let me get it valued. Oh, talk sense, Audrey. What do you know about business? Oh, d thank you for the vote of confidence. Look, you've been biting off more than you can chew, Audrey. You've got all this stuff for the council to juggle with. Now be told. Okay, right. So that's your last word on the matter, is it? Yeah. All right, right. I shall just have to find someone else to back me, then. Well, best of luck. I know what the bank will say. But who said anything about the bank? Well, where else are you going to find that sort of money? I know someone who's very keen to back me, actually. Who? Oh, Richard Branson. <laughs> Fred Elliott. He jumped at the chance when I talked to him about it. Did he? Yes. He thinks it's a very good investment. He thinks I have great potential. Now, listen, you're not to take one penny from that man. Alf, I don't want to take uh. his money. I have a feeling he might be just a bit too hands-on. Uh, he what? The, but what can I do? Look, I'm telling you, Alf, I want this salad, so I'm going to find the money from somewhere. Oh. oh. Excuse me. Um, I think uh, there's a mistake on this balance. Uh, there's over a thousand pound less than there should be. Yes, there was a withdrawal made last week. No, it's wrong. It's been recorded in the book, Mrs Duckworth, the date and the amount. Look, it's a joint account between me and my husband. Neither of us can draw out unless the other one signs. Could you hold on a minute? You have to watch him like hawk in this place. Mrs Duckworth. Right. The account was altered last week, so that withdrawals now only require one signatory. It can't have been. I've never been near this place. You must have got us mixed up with somebody else. Is this your signature? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I know what it's done. Dinner, I'll skin him alive. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you another question? Yes. So it only takes one person then to draw money out. That's right. Right. Well, I'd like to make a withdrawal. Taking over now, Fiona's gone, are you? Oh, no way. I thought you'd be dead keen. As a matter of fact, Maud, 
I'm taking over, as soon as all the paperwork's sorted out. Dragging Alf out of retirement to help you out, are you? Oh, no, 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 Alf's not interested, no. Actually, it's still very hush-hush, but Fred Elliot is putting up the money. Fred Elliot? What does he know about hairdressing? He's a butcher. Yeah, he knows a good proposition when he sees it. <laughs> I dare say he does. <laughs> oh, hi, Alf. Hello. Alf. Oh. Uh, can I have a word, love? Would you just excuse me a minute, Maud? I've, uh, I've just been downtown to see the accountant. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, it seems a better fix than I thought we were. Uh, financially, like. Oh, well, well, I'm very pleased for you. So, it means I might be able to help you out with this place. Subject to valuation, of course. But I thought you were dead against the idea. Ah, well, the accountant reckons that local business is on the up and up. And, as you say, I can help you with the books. Oh, 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 that's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you, lovey. Yeah. That's marvellous. So you can tell Fred Elliot what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> right, ta-da. <laughs> All right, see you later, lovey. Bye, bye-bye. Oh, yes! <laughs> I waited over half an hour for you oh, outside you, the building society. You, you, you're back, love. I'm, I'm sorry. I got waylaid by Alec. I must have just missed you. Still, we, we can do it tomorrow if you want. There's no need. I've done my shopping. Have you? Yes, and apparently only one of us has to sign now to get the money out. Ah, well... Because she... apparently the account's been altered, which explains why the balance is over a £1,000 short. Because somebody has been dipping into it. It's Audrey I'm wanting. Oh, and there's me thinking you'd come in for a curly perm. Audrey, Fred's here to see you. Oh! Hi, Fred. Uh, do you want to come through to the back? There's an offer I can't refuse. Take your time with that change. I fancy sticking around for this. Hi. Not very busy, is it? Oh, it's dead. It's the same tomorrow as well. Do you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you changed your mind about backing me. <laughs> nay, nay. I thrive on a challenge, me. Oh, right, do you? <laughs> Give me six months. This place will be a gold mine. I say a little gold mine. Fred, I, I just wonder if we're doing the right thing. I mean, you and me, I mean, we've got a very special friendship, haven't we? And you yeah. know what they say about mixing business and pleasure? Nay, we're both mature adults. But what if we fall out? Well, I won't interfere in business side. Not if you don't want me to. I could be a sleeping partner, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know, I'm going to have to decline your very kind offer. Eh? Hey. It's Alf. Is it now? Well, you see, I happened to let slip about uh, how you were kindly thinking of helping me. And he wasn't very pleased. I mean, he took it the wrong way completely. Did he? Oh, it gets so jealous, Alf. I, I, I suppose I should be flattered. Jealous enough to stump up himself, by any chance? Well, uh, I think I may be able to persuade him, but it'll be an uphill struggle. You're a sly fox, Audrey Roberts, sitting there as if butter wouldn't melt. What do you mean, Fred? You've used me to get at your husband's wallet, haven't you? Fred, now don't be... So and I thought I were ruthless in business. I've knelt on you. What it is, you see, I, I needed to get hold of some money at, at short notice, you see. What for? A business venture. I knew I'd be able to put, put it straight back. Now, 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 Luke. And you got this through a business venture? An investment that I knew couldn't fail. So why didn't you ask me? Well, I knew you had such a lot on your mind with, with Alec and whatnot, you know. Yeah, you tricked me into signing a form. So you could get money out behind my back? No, no, no. I, I, I thought it best not to involve you. Look, the whole point of having a joint account was so you couldn't get your hands on it. It's as much my money as yours. Yeah, but that's only money we'll have to live on one day. Yes, and with my little investment, it means we've got more now than we had last week. Now, Luke, Luke. Yeah, well, it don't give you an excuse to lie, does it? No wonder you didn't want to go on holiday. You'd no, spent the money. No. I knew with my little windfall I would be able to pay for it, wouldn't I? It's practically stealing. 
what? I, I, listen, I, I won the money back, didn't... Won? Did you say won? There's a system on the dogs, you see. Oh, God help us if you've been betting our life savings on the dogs. No, Vivi, but it, but it works. Oh, and what if it hadn't worked? No, but it's foolproof. But you've got to be able to hold your nerve, you see. Yeah, and you would have carried on helping yourself to our life savings no, till we had a penny no, left. No, 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 there's over two grand there. Well, all I can say is thank God I found out in time. Luke, I, 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 I know I should have asked you. But at the end of the day, we've lost nothing. We, we've, we've gained 850 quid, so now we, we can go on holiday and, and not even touch our little nest deck. Mm. And I suppose at least I know it won't happen again. You have my word for that, Vic. I don't need your word. I've made sure it won't happen again. Oh. Well, it only takes one of us to draw money out, doesn't it? Uh, uh... Yeah, well, I've drawn the lot out. Close the account and open one in my name. You've what? You heard. I'm going to take this and all for safekeeping. Jude, what are you doing up a ladder? You might fall. I won't fall. Come down. I pity any baby coming into this house. It's all right. It's a public health hazard. Anyway, I've put everything to one side. I think we should chuck. I hope you're not including my drum kit in that. That's top at list. You kidding? It's worth a fortune to me. I don't know why you haven't played it for months. Well, in that case, it's about time I did. Me and my big gob. I said you were going to do tea, but I wasn't expecting this. Well, we, we didn't get off to the ideal start last night, so I, I thought I'd make up for it tonight. I see. Pasta with cream and bacon suit. Sounds wonderful. You can open that Lambrusco if you like and let it breathe. I, um, see the Z bed's gone. Of course, in many ways, marriage is an outdated institution, isn't it? I suppose so. I mean, it's not as if we're planning to have children, is it? No. Did you know, one in three marriages end in divorce these days? So I believe. No, I, I put the Z bed up in the loft. I, I dare say it'll come in handy if we have guests who, who want to stay over. Ever. Here, how are you fixed for getting Saturday off? You'll be lucky if Jack and Vera are going on holiday. Hmm. We've been invited to my brother's wedding. What, we as in me and you? Hmm, it's in Hartlepool, it should be a good do. Thought maybe we could stay over somewhere, you know, make a weekend of it. You can ask him then. Yeah, all right. See what I can do. Thank you. I hope we're not going to be eating like this every night, but you're going to have me like an outside. Oh, no, I, I usually just open a tin. I, I thought with this being a special occasion. Very special, I hope. Well, I'll, I'll just clear the plates away. Leave them, Roy. I'll, I'll do them in the morning. Well, I'll, I'll put them into soak. Please, Roy. Come and sit here next to me. I, I, can I get you another drink of coffee? No, I'm, I'm fine. We could watch telly, if you like. Well, actually, Roy, I thought we might have an early night. I can't stop looking at them plates. It's working downstairs that does it. I'll have to stack them, at least. You don't want to sleep with me, do you? Don't be silly, of course I do. I knew that you wouldn't when it came to crunch. Hayley, don't get upset. You're just going along with it to please me, aren't you? But it's not what you want, not deep down inside. It is what I want, Hayley. It's what I want more than anything. But to be honest, I'm petrified. Why? I've had very little experience in that department. In fact, I've not... I've no experience in that department at all. You're probably going to tell me to get stuffed. But Sophie's been crying for a dolly all day. Which one? Dolly Susan. I'm 
come round anyway. What for? Talk. See if we can sort things out. You're being very reasonable all of a sudden. I've got no choice, have I? If I don't do what you say, I won't see me daughters. So what are you suggesting? They can stay with you. Only I get to see them when I want. Within reason, yeah. Look, I want it agreed, Sal. In writing, if necessary. I don't want to have to ask your permission. I want you to see him. You're the father, I'm not denying that. And if you do move away, you stay around here. I mean it, no more stunts. I only threatened to move away as a last resort. I won't let anyone come between me and them kids. Neither will I. Especially your boyfriend. He won't. He knows how difficult the situation is. That's why we've all got to behave like adults. Can I see him now? No, I'm just putting to bed. Just for five minutes, just to say goodnight. Give him a doll at the door. You can see him in the morning. You can take him to school if you want. I mean, I know what's involved. I know all about the birds and the bees. I mean, in fact, I kept bees years ago. But that's about the extent of it. See, theory. Right. I mean, to be honest, before I met you, I never even had a girlfriend. And when we decided for you to move in, well, I knew I couldn't put it off forever. And I didn't want to. Right. I've even been down the library today for a manual. What, like a car manual? Well, it was quite similar, actually. You know, lots of diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions. And did it make you feel better? Well, I don't know. See, when I got to the counter to have it stamped, I felt myself going red and getting embarrassed, and I, I swapped it for a James Herriot. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm in exactly the same boat. What, you mean you're... Pure as a driven snow, in a manner of speaking. And, um, before you ask, I was before as well. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps I should have got that manual after all. I'm uh, sure we can work it out for ourselves, right? Well, anyway, um, if neither of us know what we're doing, we won't know if we're doing it wrong, will we? Does that mean the washing up can wait then? 